Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Leland Leland is the transferred use of an English surname derived from a place name. It comes from the Middle English components lay, lay meaning fellow, and land meaning land. The surname would have developed to signify a person who dwelt near a patch of fallow land, which is an active farmland recovering from previous agricultural use. As a personal name, Leland has mainly been used in the United States and was most notably born by Leland Stanford, 1824-1893, a prominent American industrialist, robber baron and founder of Stanford University. Personality of the boy named Leland The three energy is powerful and enthusiastic. These personalities are cheerful, full of self-expression, and often quite emotional. They have an artistic flair and gift of gab that makes them natural entertainers. Their joyfulness bubbles over, and their infectious exuberance draws a crowd. The three personality is like a child, forever young and full of delight. They are charming, witty, and generally happy people. The three personality lives in the now and has a spontaneous nature. Three seem to live with a bright and seemingly unbreakable aura that attracts others to them. In turn, they are deeply loyal and loving to their friends and family. Luck also has a tendency to favor number threes. Popularity of the boy named Leland The name Leland dates back to 1880 on the male naming charts, which is the farthest the charts go back. More than 100 years ago, at the turn of the 20th century, Leland was a name of fairly moderate usage. As the decades progressed into the 1900s, however, Leland fell from favor. The name even disappeared from the charts altogether between 1999 and 2004. But wait. In the past few years, Leland has been experiencing a bit of a comeback. The name saw its most significant jump up the charts in 2006, the year popular actor Brendan Fraser named his son Leland Francis. The name also may have been influenced by Leland Chapman, the son of Dog, the bounty hunter, and a character on his popular reality TV show, which started airing in 2004. Leland is a name that can't help but to sound erudite given the namesake of Stanford University, which was incidentally built on fallow land in Palo Alto, California, which is why the school is often referred to as the farm. Quick facts on Leland. Gender, boy. Origin, English. Number of syllables, 2. Ranking popularity, 388. Pronunciation, Leland. Simple meaning, fallow land. Characteristics of Leland. Happy, dramatic, optimistic, social, creative, communicative, popular. Cultural references to the baby name, Leland. Famous people named Leland. Leland Bardwell, author, Leland Orser, actor, Leland Mitchell, basketball player, Leland Chapman, bounty hunter, Leland Stanford, founder of Stanford University, Leland E., politician. Historic figures with the name Leland. Born Amasil Leland Stanford in Albany County, New York in 1824, Leland was one of eight children raised on the family farm. He started out as a lawyer in Wisconsin and became active in politics. In 1952, however, California called. It was the time of the gold rush and bigger opportunities. Leland joined his brothers running a general store for miners in Placer County, shameless aside, the great-grandmother of the author of this paragraph sat on the lap of Leland Stanford as a young girl living in Placerville, California in the mid-1800s. Eventually, his wife joined him from Wisconsin, they moved to San Francisco, and Leland went into the mercantile business on a much grander scale. Along with Crocker, Huntington, and Hopkins, Stanford would become one of the Euroobic four Euro investors in the Central Pacific Railroad. Theodore Judah was hired as their chief engineer who figured out how to get that sucker over the steep Sierra Nevadas. The first transcontinental railroad would make Stanford millions, equivalent to billion in today Euro S dollars. Leland Stanford would also be elected to the governorship of the state of California. In 1885, Leland Stanford founded Leland Stanford Junior University as a memorial to his only child, Leland Stanford, Jr., 
who died as a teenager of typhoid in Italy in 1884 while on a trip to Europe. When Stanford University opened its doors in 1891, its first student was future President Herbert Hoover, 